All right. Uh, so the um, the you know, this this week's uh, lecture um, has a um, has links to the uh, to all, all the source code that we've been looking at here in the in the slides uh, that look at the all the various different types of controllers. Uh, it also has um, a um, uh, some code for you to play around with and uh, and revisit uh, the uh, turtle runner that we uh, we uh, we presented um, I think at the at the end of last week I think was it uh, where. We uh, are able to interact with a with a with a turtle um, a program, right? That uh, allows you to draw something. Uh, in that in that case, uh, we were using this, a scanner so that we can type from the command from the console. Um, also, we had no graphical representation, right? Uh, there was no way for us to actually draw anything. Uh, so instead, we we um, we used um, uh, just uh, the console to spit out, you know, the the current position of the of the turtle. A, you know, spit out the, 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 the various lines that it drew, that presumably drew on a screen. Uh, instead, it just you know, drew, you know, iterate over these lines and just print it out to the console. So, so today, we're going to go a little further. We're going to take the same model that we looked at uh, you know, a week ago. Uh, we're going to take the same controller. We're going to take all of that that we, that, we, uh, that we looked at earlier. And we're just going to add the, uh, the capability of actually drawing this on a, on a screen. We're going to use uh, Java Swing. Uh, to, to see how, how we can draw this on screen. In particular, uh, the, the, um, one of the skills that uh, we're going to look at in particular that is useful for your upcoming assignment uh, is, to, is to be able to draw something on the screen. Right? Um, and we're, we're, we're going to introduce, uh, you know, just like uh, we introduced JFrame uh, early this week to represent a window right, where we could put all sorts of uh, uh, com components. Uh, today we're going to introduce uh, it's J -panel, right? J panel. Um, is a is a more generic um, component, right? That uh, can can be used for all sorts of things. Uh, in particular, we're going to be using it as a canvas, right? And on this canvas, we're going to be able to draw, right? Using the the uh, graphical two D um, package, right? To be able to draw two dimensional uh, lines and po and points and whatnot and circles and whatnot. Yes. All right. Uh, so let's uh, let's talk about the turtle runner. First, let's look at the model of the of the turtle. Right? So this is the same exact model that we looked at, you know, way back. Right? We we have a uh, we're representing the uh, the turtle uh, in terms of a position where it is. Right? We and we had a class to represent the x and y position of the of the turtle. So so it's the same uh, x and y that we had uh, earlier. We also uh, had. A, a mechanism for representing the, the lines that the, that, the, uh, that the turtle traced, uh, whether it was a single line or multiple lines to make a square and things like that. Right? So we're representing it as a combination uh, of, of a composition of two points, you know, where the line starts and the line ends. Uh, so here's a constructor. So that's a, it's the same model that we had earlier. Uh, for turtle, right, we, we had this interface that, uh, uh, that um, exposed uh, the various um, Commands that the turtle understood, right? Being able to turn on its uh, on its axis, being able to move a particular t uh, um, amount of distance, uh, being able to save its spots, right? And and also be able to trace, right? To to draw a line. Um, you know, as an implementation, I think we took a look at uh, implementing it using stacks, right? That that we were able to push uh, onto the uh, onto the stack so that we could uh, implement the um, the retrieve, right? Retrieve allowed us to backtrack our our, uh, our way into previously saved spots, yes? Um, uh, we also have a, a, a representation of, um, of our position using the, uh, the position 2D that we look, just looked at it, and then get heading, you know, where are we positioning so that, you know, based on whether we've turned uh, one direction or another. Um, we, we extended the turtle model uh, capabilities so that uh, not only could it save its position, but it could also uh, keep track of, of uh, lines that um, that it could draw on the screen, right? So that and, and usually we the way we implemented it was a uh, as a as a list of lines that we we appended and we added more lines as we traced uh, through the screen. So yeah, so so get lines would give us all the lines that we've traced so far, uh, and you know and so trace was the equivalent of move, but not only did it move, but it also calculated a new line, right? And added these lines to some collection of lines, and then. And then the get lines allowed us to perhaps either print it out to the console, or like we're going to do today, we're going to iterate over these lines and we're going to draw them on the screen. Yes. 
um, the turtle implementation, this is the, 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 a simple turtle implementation, um, was, uh, was representing the, the data types as follows, right? One for, the, uh, we're using, gonna use double to point how many degrees we, are we heading. Uh, the, um, also the position told us you know, what ex uh, exact position we're in right now. Uh, and then we had two stacks, right, to, so that we can backtrack our way back to any, any position point uh, in space and time where we were uh, before. Um, and and um, uh, we have a constructor that, that initialized all these things and another constructor that, uh, that made some uh, initial initialization. Uh, and, then, and then we went on and implemented all these, right? The, uh, the moves, the turns, the save, the, the retrieve, uh, the get position, the get heading. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna go over that again. Uh, but basically, right, move uh, updated the model, right, so that uh, it calculated, you know, using trigonometry of saying, well, I'm currently here, right, and I'm moving these these many these many units, right. So I'm gonna be over there, right, depending on my heading, right. I can I can calculate the hypotenuse based on the uh, on the two sides, uh, and I can calculate where I am, the new position. Uh, you know, turn just just you know set the uh, the the turning radius of the of the turtle. You know, saved, um, you know, stored into those those two stacks, the position and the and the heading, so that we could backtrack using retrieve, and get positioning and get heading were reader uh, re read only operations of returning the current state of the of the turtle. 